So I was scrolling through my YouTube comments, as you do, when I came across a bright elephant's comment. They said, I need to see a Christmas tree that you can live in. So I thought, why not build a Christmas tree shaped house in Bloxburg? The first stage of any shaped house is building the shape itself. And I don't know if my brain's having an episode or something. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to look up the shape of a Christmas tree. Oh, look, we have lots to choose from. We can have a spiky tree with blades on it or a fat, chunky tree. But either way, I think the bottom of a Christmas tree starts off like this. I realise we should probably make it go a bit far backwards. Yeah, I'm just going to enjoy my three by three house. And also, I'm going to be breaking the bank a little bit because we are going to be having a glass elevator. It's going to be 90,000 grand. 30,000? That's the tree goes up we've obviously got to make it go a little bit thinner each time until we get something that looks like this now i did make a little oopsie daisy so we've just got to extend each one by one block now it's going to be the hard part because don't know if you know but walls only go straight in blocksburg the solution here is going to be using basic cubes so how do i put this basic cubes are not the most merry thing to deal with they can be very 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 fiddly so it's just sort of like the moment of truth is this going to be longer just about. We do have this tiny little nugget on the end. Oh, Reese's Cups. Why do I make so much work for myself? That is our first side of the Christmas tree. I do actually look like a Christmas tree already. Not trying to toot my own horn too soon. So I just copied that on all of the other branches. And I made another oopsie daisy, guys. <laughs> What's going on here? It looks like something exploded. If you look at this tree diagram, you actually have to go back out after each poke. I'm terrible at explaining things, so just watch what I do. Watch this space. And at the top here, I'm having a slight dilemma. As you can see, the tree as a whole actually looks kind of like a Christmas tree. But when we get to the top, yo, what's going on? Do you know what, guys? It's time for plan B. I didn't really want to do this, but I think we might have to. Oh, that looks cute. -y. Okay, it's fine. I do just want to put a big star decal on here, though. And if you think I'm going all the way up those five stories, think again. I'm putting it right down here. Wee! If we fly all the way up to the top, we have a star on our tree. <laughs> Last stage, I guess, before decorating is making it all green. Even the walls, unfortunately. <gasps> Christmas time! It's a low and one. This is getting me in the spirit, all righty. And I think we should make the elevator brown as well, considering it's like the center of the tree. Just before we do this first layer here, we need to add in the stairway. And I've got to say, a Christmas tree is probably one of the hardest shapes to incorporate stairs into. That, do you know what? Scratch the stair idea as well. Sorry if you're trying to be healthy, but no stairs today. And I kind of feel like this is the house out of Ben and Holly. You know where all of those elves live? Gotta be quite a big doorbell. Yes, this one. It can ring to each floor. I suppose just a simple pathway leading up will be fine with some simple glitter bug bushes. And I hope you don't mind. I am just going to block these corners off. Like, they are literally the most useless piece of crap I've ever seen. <laughs> However, you are going to be able to look out the back of the elevator. And just because we're living in a Christmas tree does not mean we cannot be a fancy. We have black and white tiles. And wow, it really is a small entryway. The vibe in this entryway is Empire State Building. Normally, I just add like a couple of console tables in an entrance. Topped with some Christmassy items. Like this giant gumdrop. I feel like that girl out of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when I eat that. Next to Frosty the Snowman, I'm going to put a lamp. And we'll finish off with these nice green plaid chairs and an extremely expensive chandelier and then i just added a few final touches on top i've started a checkered pile because this is going to be the christmas kitchen so i realized the whole point is that we're not actually meant to put doors on the front so i've just opened up the front a little bit and with a click we now have checkers now, i kind of want like an indoor outdoor look with my kitchen it's like industrial brick Ooh! Guys, I would love to change the colour of these walls, but then it would change them on the outside and ruin everything. But what is really awesome about these is that we can make some vaulted ceilings. At least I think that's what they're called. And now it's going to look a hell ton nicer when we put the counters in. Before, they'd be like jammed in there like jam and jelly. And it's weird not building against a wall because I'm so used to just being like snap, snap. Whereas when we're building with this, we actually have to be careful. I don't think I've ever used a medium sized cabinet before. But if we used a tall one, it would look... It would just pop right out the side. You've got to admit, this colour scheme is slaying the day. I wonder, can we put storage shelves on these? Oh, that might be a little dangerous. Put a mug on there. Whoosh! Full 
This is where we're gonna have to probably make a few custom bits. And we can't forget to wash our hands. We don't wanna be a dirty pig. Wash your hands, you dirty pig. I didn't do a poo. And oh, that's my alarm, guys. I've got a driving lesson. I'll be back in the tip. Okay, guys, I'm back from my driving. I've gone from a sports car racer to Gordon Ramsay back in my kitchen. I just finished up the counter unit, making it pretty built in. And at the end here, I'm kind of tempted to add a corner shelf. Like, we can just put some syrup. And you know what my biggest fear is, guys? It's not spiders. My biggest fear is being covered in maple syrup. I'm not joking. I actually have nightmares about being covered in that stuff. Aside from that nightmare, I'm trying to use Christmassy colours. For a minute, I actually forgot that this is a Christmas tree house. I'm just looking at my watch. When's the Christmas update coming? It's the 28th of November and we still haven't had one. Just because we're living inside a tree does not mean we don't need light. If anything, we need more light. And there we go. Room one done, only 700 to go. No, I'm joking. As you can see, they literally get smaller each time. So it will take less and less time. Anyway, the next room is going to be simply the dining room. <laughs> this is just going to be incredibly simple. Your basic. Now, since this is such a random house, I feel like we can switch, switch up the batteries and have a Victorian dining table. Normally, I wouldn't add this in a modern house because this house is kind of a mixture of all different tiles and textures. The only thing is the table runner doesn't fit on this one. Everybody can have a plate. A nice Christmas garland. And comment down below, guys. What are your guys' favourite Christmas decorations? Mine has to be the Christmas tree. Basic, but a sleigh. And then again, we're pushing in some wool. And it looks so weird. Doesn't that look like some sort of mutant plant coming out of there? Oh, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. I'm gonna add a fireplace so that we can eventually have a chimney. The annoying thing about this though is you can't change the color of the fire, so it has to stay as musty orange. And then like a tree in the corner. Forgot, we're meant to add paintings. That can be the final little thing in this room. Some beautiful artwork of Coeptus. First layer of our Christmas tree is built. I'm sorry, I cannot go over this star. That's the most lame star ever. So next up is gonna be the lounge and games room. Once again, we'll have a hallway, but we're also gonna have traditional doors upstairs. And now look how many floors we have. That's a lot. Now who bets all of these are going to be going in the complete opposite direction to each other? Yep. You know what? I think our best bet would just be to redo it all. And as we go up each level, I'm also going to add a strip of molding, which enhances the outline of the Christmas tree for us. Don't tell me this color scheme isn't screaming rich old man for. Most definitely going to have an entertainment center. That is sort of a given. Mostly because we can just build it so easily into the wall. And normally I'd use colored books, but since it's kind of like Christmas, Christmassy old vibes. I'm actually going to use the ready-made book. If it is old, crusty people living here, then they're probably going to be losing like their glasses a lot. The reason I put that there instead of along this wall, because if we use the wicker sofa, then look, it kind of fits perfectly underneath here. And unless you are the BFG, then you won't really be banging your head. And oh my gosh, we should actually put some presents under the tree. Why did I forget to do that? I'm an idiot. And we can have one on the coffee table. Maybe they're opening one on Christmas Eve. In my house, we open one present on Christmas Eve, but it's always like a onesie, so we always just know what it is. <laughs> to finish off our gorgeous living room, we'll add a piano. So if we go through the hall, we have the games room. To make a games room, we first need a pool table. So I always used to think these look like pool tables, and then if we make the top actually, like this grass texture, and then I'm pretty sure you make the balls with little soaps. This probably is incredibly outdated, like there's definitely an easier way to do it now. Do we have sticks in block Boxburg. <laughs> Chopsticks. Yeah, these are really long. They're like pool sticks for little ants. And we can place the sticks on the wall. We'll then have a bit more of like a modern like gaming setup in here. Because look, the TV's like on the ceiling. Gosh, that's going to give you a crick neck, isn't it? But we will have a TV remote nevertheless. We can have another little sofa back here, I guess. And gosh, it's getting quite dark, guys. It's 4pm and look at how dark it is in England. Like, what do you expect us to do in this weather? No, get those lights off. Off! They're too bright. Turn them off! And what else does a games room have? I'm struggling with what could go in this bit here. Maybe we should just put a white carpet. And on here can be like bean bags. I'm trying not to show it till the grand tour. Which will actually be very soon. Because look, only two more floors. I might jump straight to the top floor. Purely because I'm in the mood to do a bedroom. So I might as well just get it out of my system. And I think it's going to be so cool like coming through these doors by the way. Why don't we actually make it a bit more open. Using archways instead of closed and open doors. 
That was a good idea. And why do they like barricade them up? What are you doing there, barricade? So we're gonna have to exit build mode and re-enter so that the walls are now separated. So in the bathroom side, for example, we can do tiles now. I think it's a really cozy shape. Along this back wall, we're gonna have an Insta Guru bathtub. And I have one of those trays that goes along it. On this, I've spoke about this before, but they are just silly. They'll balance their MacBook on here. I'm like, honey, are you begging to burn down your new million pound? home. The toilet can be pretty simple to be fair. I have got a small obsession with toilet paper though. Not in real life, but in Bloxburg. I just love adding it in bucket loads. And I actually have a horror story about toilet paper, guys. I was, I went into McDonald's once to get my food and I needed to use the toilet as well. And then when I came out, everyone was staring at me. I thought, oh, maybe I look really good today. And then I get to the car and there is some woman shouting her head off. Training program that the city base and I'm like, she's like, darling, got a little something on your foot. Oh, sorry. I actually got really scared. I was like, why are you shouting at me? And then I looked down. There's toilet paper hanging off my foot. I was so humiliated. I was like, thank you. This is our beautiful bathroom. So, so we have the hallway, but we can just put like a counter in here. We now move through to the bedroom. I'm actually going to make this the kids' bedroom. And then I think we'll have another one downstairs. Because I never do kids' bedrooms. Like, it's really rare. We've got to give them Christmas bedding. Because you think I'm paying for Christmas bedding in real life. You can think again. Like, even I can admit that is a waste of money because you have it for what one month but a wardrobe at the end and then it kind of gives the bed like a bit of privacy at this age you're probably going to be doing some homework so we'll add you a nice desk as well i don't have a little chair as you walk in as well and as you go through this is where we can have the tv i'm actually going to put it here because then you can like sit against this wall we've got to have some extra loud speakers now we have the fourth and final floor the difference is we're not going to have a bathroom on this level this floor here this is the parents floor and we're going to get a bit more modern on this floor, I think. So, the left side, rather than a bathroom, it's gonna be the closet of dreams. This closet is truly gonna be what everybody dreams of in the middle of the night. And over here, if I'm gonna make use of the rails, and I don't know why they're all vanishing, but that was actually handy, because just on top of them, we're gonna stack a bunch more. And have you guys seen the people on TikTok who have, like, their wardrobes like this? It's all in the open. DIY hanging closet wall. I'm honestly such a fan of that look. And why not have a blimmin' island in here as well? And finally, Finally, just a modern version of that bedroom we built earlier. With that, the Christmas tree house has grown. So chickens, just before we look around, this house values at 350,000 and there's no blocks, box items on here really. So that is the true value. I would do a spin around of this build, but oh, it's like a messed up advent calendar. So let's just focus on the beauty of the front. Most of the video was decorating the inside. So let's look around. So this is the hallway and I actually put the bell here so you can like ring each room be like hello it's true Reese's I'm here for Barbara it's a simple room and it basically leads us in to floor two the kitchen room so we've got to imagine a wall is here because you know like a dollhouse closes that is what we've got to imagine so heading into our kitchen <gasps> looks so normal and then <clears throat> but seriously this is a really nice kitchen we can cook ourselves some ribs what is more Christmassy than some ribs guys <laughs> and then it basically just has like a little sitting area in here we obviously have all of our maple syrup and it's nice that it leads us directly onto the dining room by the way I don't know what these pictures are the dining room is another cozy room. I love the Christmas tree. I'm feeling very jingly. That's basically just where you would eat all your din dins, but it's time to go up to the fun floor. That's what I like to call it. Such fun. Look, and can I we appreciate the view out the back? It looks so sick going up. To the left, we have our lounge room. Yet another cozy room. Not only do we have like the TV and the actual lounger where we'd be sat, we also have the piano. And opposite that, we have the games room. Hey, Bloxburg here when it finally updates for Christmas. And once again, the view from these rooms just looks so cool when you zoom out. A couple more floors to go. Next up is floor four. Look at me travel. Oh, let's not look at that actually. So this is much more open. This is the master bedroom. This is where you can get a beautiful night's sleep. And I love how the pillows appear. I also put some up presents in this room because you know mum and dad hide the presents so well. And then opposite, we obviously have the gorgeous closet. I mean, no tour needs to be done. And ding! We are at the final floor. So this is probably my favorite hallway. I just love the detail. Our first bathroom. I've been dying for a wee. Let me on there. Ah, <sighs> that's bliss. <laughs> Bliss. Here's our Insta girly bath. Definitely not getting my eyes gouged out right now. And finally, we have the kids' room, which we can sit in our bunk bed and watch 
L. So there we have it, guys. That was me building a Christmas tree shaped house in Bloxburg. Do subscribe if you like the video, and I will see you all in the next one.